Hello everyone. It's it's been a while. Um but I am back. It's uh it's a uh, been a been a long month for me. A lot of stuff happening. You'll notice I'm in my old room. Uh if you've been with the channel for a while. So uh yeah, I mean stuff happened. We had a we had some flooding here. Uh so I had to move all my stuff out and into this new room. It's just been uh awful awful month on top of exams and everything going on. Um, but I am back. Still have one more exam to go, but uh, finally found some free time to stream some Faria, so here we are, and we get to play with Yaks! Because today's lore page is Topaz Yak. Always love to see the Yaks. So, I'm hoping that my setup is okay. It's a very... Oh, my mic is spiking a little bit. Let me... Maybe I can, like, move this completely off-camera. Somewhere there. Yeah, I... I'll have to... I'll have to watch it. It does look like it's spiking a little bit, and I apologize for audio issues. I haven't had a huge chance to test this. I, it's a really janky setup, because I've left my old desk, um... Uh, my old desk is kind of in shambles, so I'm using this really small, tight, compact one with this, like... It's got this little overarching, uh, I don't know what you call that, like an overarching shelf to it. So it's very dark. <laughs> the lighting is kind of awful as well. I'm using a tiny little lamp here to help with that, but we'll make do. Um, so for this list, uh, I wanted to use Spirit Spice because we are using Topaz Yak. I, I opted to not use the blue Sapphire Yak, as OP as that card is. Um, there's just a small little issue with consistency. Um, where are you, Mr. Blue Yak? It's just, it's just kind of inconsistent, um, especially when you're running like a three color list. Uh, you could run like blue and yellow, Topaz Yak, Sapphire Yak, but I wanted to run with uh, Spirit Spice. Emerald Yak is still really good. Um, but yeah, like having to rely on drawing this all the time, eh. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's not always great. Grand it is. Hey, sunlight! It has been a long time no see. And I know I I may look like an imposter because of this because uh, of this mustache, but I assure you, it is me. <laughs> how's it been, how's it been going? Oh, number eight. I don't even know who this person is. I wonder what's been happening in the Feria community. Uh, Yak Attack could be alright to keep with the Emerald Yak start. We'll go with that. <laughs> Looking good. Doing well? Nice, nice. I am doing well now that, uh... Um... Most of my exams are over. Okay. I think I'm actually gonna go for Roaming Yak. In between the wells, dash him here. Pretty nice opening play. Yeah, now he can follow me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This play is kind of sketchy. Oh my. Um. Yeah. That's okay. We just switch sides now. Possibly step you, because we're not actually going to be collecting on this side, right? If I ever collect on this side, it's going to be with Yak Attack. Oh, it's a nice relief, yeah. One more exam to go. I'm a little bit stressed about one of my... Uh, I had to take a provincial exam, engineering exam, and uh, there, it has to be like proctored on this online on the online site, and the site crashed midway through my exam. I had like 40 minutes left of the exam and it crashed and I couldn't get back in. So now I've got to deal with um, the engineering association uh, trying to figure out what they're gonna do for me to compensate my mark. <laughs> it sucked. It was such a stressful exam and then that happened. I was freaking out. <laughs> But we'll see. I, I managed to finish most of it, and honestly, I'd be happy if I just passed it. 
I don't want to retake it or anything. <laughs> if that's going to be their solution. I'm just going to say, just, just pass me and I'll be happy. Um, okay, so we can't quite do Yak Attack. Uh, well, there's no point anyways in Yak Attack. Uh, I might just go for the Desert to build this, because we're going to have Spirit Spice at some point. Yeah, we'll do this. Step the Baby Yak. <clears throat> this just stops him from stepping into Double Collection, not that it really matters. But it takes that Double Collection land away from him. Oh no, he's got other answers. That's gonna be a yikes. Uh, we have enough for this to get buffed, that's neat. Uh, yeah, that's pretty sad. We can, we can like, yak attack and buff the yak and get a value trade. That doesn't feel awful. 9, 10, 11, we collect twice, but then that's all we're playing. Oh, uh, we collect three times. Uh, but yeah, I think I just go for it. I need to, like, kind of slow this, slow this stuff down, I guess. Best that I can think of. So we do one yak. Yeah, one yak here. I guess one yak just to block the 7 6. I don't think I really need to. <clears throat> Slows down the advance, I guess. Sure, why not? And we'll go in here, take the value, and just pass. Uh, we also want to feed him these yaks for our mother. Mother is really good to have. I think this is going to be the savior of the game. This is such a, such a strong card. Um, so this will this will stall us a little bit. Him stepping in between the wells. Uh, we can set up a little bit more. Or I can just drop the, the yak to contest. Yeah, right now he's marginally ahead, but Mother's gonna be a huge swing turn once we actually get this down. If we just keep like trading back and forth evenly, um, but he is marginally ahead right now. <clears throat> so green, yellow, we might have to watch out for uh, some mobility training. Um, there's a swordfish. Kind of yikes, he's got very chonky stats. Yak Shepherd. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna hide this guy and probably block the 7 4. This is his only threat right now with the, being a collector. He can go face. Um,. And I really have no answers, but I mean, what can I do? We take away his collection. It seems like the best bet. Um, yeah, I don't really see anywhere else relevant for the 4-6. How much are we on next turn? If this collects, we're on f 8 could play the Mother of Yaks if I'm desperate, but my next draw should probably help me. I... Mother saves, saves the game a lot. It's, uh, Yaks is, oh no. Well, that's unfortunate. Yaks is really strange. 
Like, it's very hot and cold. It's got some really, really strong overpowered cards, like Mother and Sapphire Yak. But then the rest of it's, like, card pool is kind of eh. Okay, I was really afraid that I would draw Spirit Spice here. <laughs> uh... Because, yeah, that's not going to work. Um, so we can go for Mother or try and take a draw. I don't know if I can keep taking six to the face. Nine cost Mother. Nine cost Mother. I think it's okay. Uh... I think it's okay. I mean, we have the Axe Shepherd. These these are flying taunts. The only issue is that I have zero cleanup to this, or like not a great cleanup. I mean, these are these are four attack. Oh, this is five attack. Sorry. Right. Okay. Mother works, I guess. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll just play the mother. For some reason, I thought mother was four attack only, and I wouldn't have enough. So yeah, we're gonna drop you. If he has mobility, that's fine. We just put them here. And I'm hoping I can pull off a spirit spice somewhere. Because I was hoping for Mother to like swing me back hard, but having to play it for 9 is going to be a little more even. We had to play fair. Sadly enough. Okay. And so I might be able to pull off a Spirit Spice like two turns from now. Uh, it's not going to be really a great line on this turn. Unless he, like, moves this for some reason. Um, so we try and set up a nice Spirit Spice next turn. Hopefully draw into a Yak next turn. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> no more. Okay, well that doesn't... that hurts. <laughs> Alright, what's the draw? It's a Topaz Yak. Um... It's a little awkward. So we, we hit in... Need to build a land for Topaz. Need to build a land... For Topaz. Spirit... Spice doesn't really discount anything. Man, this is kind of... Hmm. I could just go for Yak Shepherd. Is there a point in taking out the Virgin Forest? Like, I'm gonna give up my Spirit Spice, which sucks. But I think I almost have to. I don't really know what else I can do there. Um, so I think I'm going to take a draw. Maybe we get a different Yak. Um, this does have Taunt, but... Okay. There might have been a better line in here. Um... And I don't know if that was necessary, but like we gave up the 4-4 four four is pretty significant. Um, like the other line is like holding here, just waiting, maybe dropping the Prairie Yak. And then we try and build up Spirit Spice. It might have been better, I don't know. We'll see. Because I kind of gave away a lot of stats there. It's got seven Faria. If he drops a Virgin Force in my face, I, I don't have anything. Yaks! 
<laughs> hey, Babster. We play in Yaks. I think that was actually a pretty big misplay. Giving away those those stats like that. That's not gonna help me at all. Swordfish. Yeah, I don't have the stats to keep up with this, I think. Might be a surrender. Um I guess I have to start pushing. We st we have to start applying pressure, otherwise he just keeps dropping this stuff and I can't do anything about it, so... We can put the taunt down at least. Can't do anything about that double collect. Um, I just put the prairie egg face. <laughs> Yep. Spooky. I will step this guy down in preparation to fight stuff. Can always move back between wells. <clears throat> so now we stall and just go all in face, I think. Because, yeah, we're never going to win this race by just him keep dropping chunky things. Threatening lethal. <laughs> You're right. How are the how are the volume levels by the way? I'm unsure. Little rude. Volume good? Nice, nice. No. <laughs> <clears throat> That's mildly neat, but I don't think it's going to help. I can't discount this all the way, right? Go one, two, can't kill off it. Oh, I can kill this guy off. Okay, that's what we go for. Double Spirit Spice Face. That's the play, right? I gotta go mildly fast, I guess we... No, I need to build land. Okay, we were giving up everything for this, but it's got to be done. Um, should I build a special? I only have one more Emerald Yak coming, so it's not really worth it. Um, I think I invest this. We murder you, double spirit spice, and we just go all in face here. <laughs> And then I think I build this land just so that I can body block if he wants to race. Look at that swing, though. <laughs> hey, Belzy! <Bellzine>. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess... Is that a surrender? He's on one card. It's pretty unlikely we come back, but I mean, he's on one card. I don't know. We'll see what our next draws are. <laughs> that, was, that was my that was my last shot. Saturn. You'll notice I'm um I, I couldn't afford to keep up the 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 payments on the hotel. <laughs> yeah, I, honestly, we just can test this and see how it goes. I guess. The thing is, is I don't really have any win cons anymore. We've kind of used all of them. We've got one spirit space left. What's that? Coming down center. Too many woodpeckers in that hotel? Yeah, the woodpecker's back. Well, I haven't heard him. Uh, I didn't hear him this morning. But like a couple days ago. He's back. Do they, do they like hibernate or something in the winter? I hope so. <laughs> Winter is coming. He's there waiting. He'll always be there. The thing is, is that now it's not even a problem that he's there. It's just the anticipation of him being there. Waiting to hear you try and sleep. <laughs> hmm. 
lionfish. Okay, I'm just gonna... We're gonna move on, because I, I don't see any wind conditions that I can pull out here anymore. <clears throat> the nightmare just sealed, sealed it. Poops has been running Green Rush, and no idea how to beat it. Poops? <laughs> Stinky! Hey! How is everyone doing? How has the fairy community been? Grand today is... Oh, that's the guy I just faced. I noticed that uh, Zorni started playing again. That's been neat to see. The, the past tournament looks super fun. Sash and Fickle hosting. Really awesome to see other players stepping up and doing some streaming. Yeah, Zorni is like number two. Damn, son. Community has been top notch. Nice. Love to see it. Yeah, I've seen uh, a couple like new streamers as well. Some old guy played too? Yeah, who is that? <laughs> Good to see Saturn back in the ring. Ah, speak of the devil. It's Fickle. Uh, we keep. <clears throat> I imagine he's playing Yax as well. <laughs> <clears throat> so we'll go, we'll go neutrals. So yeah, with with the yak list, starting center with neutrals is pretty good, I think, just because of how um, like expansive the yak list can be with like yak attack and stuff. You want to gain access to like like both of these corners of the wells if you can. Not that you're necessarily going to do this one, but. Um, I go for Roaming Yak, but I want to back this up with Emerald Yak because of Cypher's Wrath and stuff. So we're going to want to push a little bit because he's got burned stuff going. Good night, po- Whoa! Yes! In with the sub, thanks man, how's it been going? Subbed for three months? Thanks, I appreciate that a lot. How's the business? Finally can redeem a poetry? Oh no, that was a famine? Yes, we'll do a poetry. If Saturn ever makes a comeback, I have Rapala Husk. <laughs> I think I vomited a little. Um, I I kind of want to contest this, right? Good to contest. It's a little annoying. But I think I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> Life is good. How's cryptos? Is crypto still like going strong? I I actually like I, I looked into it a bit and I dabbled Let's in it a bit. Because <laughs> I was interested in it. But like, man, crypto stuff is so stressful. Like it, it changes so much. Like I didn't invest very much in it. I just like did like small amounts to kind of like test the waters. But like it's so stressful. Like you, like like with larger larger amounts, things change like so quick. Sad. <clears throat> ah. Okay, we're gonna have to draw. Okay, that's not looking good. We might have to make some changes to this list. Gold master of yaks. He's trading yaks all this time. Not for everyone. You need nerves of steel? That you do. I don't know how you did it. 
Sounds like it's going well for you, though. Um, we can double Topaz, I guess. Can double... I need another land for Spirit Spice. Uh, we also have Gift. Oh, we also have Gift. Gift gives me three, four, stat six. I feel like Yak Attack into Gift is a bit better value, right? Yak Attack, because otherwise we Yak Attack Topaz Yak. That's the only other thing. Um, Gotta go a bit fast. I have to build this either way, I mean. Um, can we get better gift value? We can get better gift value in the future. Wait, no we can't. Okay, well this has to happen, yes? Yeah, we'll just do this. Wait, I need the- oh crap. I need the yak elsewhere. Okay, whatever. Okay. <laughs> I, this, this yak needed to be here. I, I completely forgot those two yaks were both dying. Wait! Oh, that was a visual bug! Oh my god. Because the, the Rubiak had... The Rubiak had 4 attack, didn't it? Did anyone else see that? I thought it had 4 attack, but he used Elderwood Embrace, so it had 6. Yeah, I guess in my brain I thought it had something else. Oh well. Um... We've got Topaz, We've got Yak Shepherd, which gives four attack. It's just not nothing's working out so well. Uh, Topaz into this. Yeah, nothing's gonna work here. I'm on six, seven, fair. Oh, wait a sec. Oh. Wait a sec. Okay. Um, need to use the Yak Shepherd, so I have to put, put you here, unfortunately. We'll step you up then. Every play that I make like this is taking away from Spirit Spice value, but I mean we had to answer the 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 Sapphire Yak. Are you kidding? <laughs> okay? <laughs> yaks first yaks. Only getting started. <laughs> hey Kira Kiro! Welcome the ears? <laughs> yes indeed. It's I mean I, I had it going on because um School was just super busy at the time. Oh wait, can we do this? I can use the roaming egg to collect, plus one, right? I'm on five, six? That works, which is really neat. Oh, that is really neat. Okay. Get to collect, plus one, Topaz Yak. Oof, I love it. Feels good when plays work out. Uh, yeah, like I already had it growing from just like um, staying in my room studying all the time for exams, and I'm like, oh, winter is coming. Why not just keep it for a while? It's a little patchy in places, but it'll it'll grow in. Fickle's just really good at at drawing. <laughs> Haste is cheat. 
Um, so we've got a shepherd. Do I go faith for five? Is that worth it? It's a pretty chunky amount. Even though he gets the value trade after, but I think we somewhat prioritize going face here. Uh, can I spirit spice on top of this? Is that worth it? I don't know. No, I think I wanna. I think I wanna play the yak, the over sky yak, right? Yeah, I can't afford it anyways. Yeah, I'm just gonna apply pressure, I guess. <clears throat> we have dealt with two Sapphire Yaks, so I don't think we have to worry too much about a third. Um, which means wind condition dealt with, besides mother. Yeah, mother will be a bit concerning. Currently doesn't look bad on you? Oh, thanks. I've grown it out once in my life before. Um, oh. Just straight Topaz Yak. Man, Spirit Spices aren't working. <laughs> I think I need more, more weenies. Like, we do... Maybe we ditch Gift? It Gift honestly isn't helping. And I use, um, like that 2-3 yak or something. Okay, so I probably just draw here. Yak attack. Do I go for the kill? I think so. Um, and then just save for Yak Attack next turn, or, 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 just save for Yak Attack this turn. I can collect here, he's in Yak Attack range right now, so we can go for the Yak Attack next turn. So yeah, we just collect and pass. Um, and if he pre-buffs, it's unfortunate, but that's okay. Um, pre-buff means he's not doing anything else, we can slam face. <laughs> just get Embrace instead of all the Spice and Gift, you think? Yeah, I mean, maybe Spice just isn't worth it in, in Yaks. Maybe Shamanic Dance? Would Wrangler be any help? I feel like, yeah, it's fine as a one-off. I feel like Wrangler would be okay in some places, but there's not enough, like, weenie yaks um, to run, like, many of them. Okay, so we do this. I don't know where the other one's going, but we'll do this. We should... Like, Spirit Spice is so pointless here. I mean, there's enough mobility in this deck, too, I guess. Like, I can just buff and get value trades rather than trading both my creatures in just for the Spirit Spice. Like, it's better value here to Runin's Guidance, right? Unless we want this for healing, but it doesn't matter. Uh... Okay. I guess this is okay. This lets us buff and play a creature, so I guess it's fine. Yeah, we just do this. <clears throat> Why are you not playing the act that gives attack and you have haste? Because, yeah, like, that was a consideration, but it's just so inconsistent, isn't it? 
like I don't know we'll take another look because if you're just relying on haste it's kind of you know but if we run haste and we run like deep wood stalker alongside it maybe it's okay to run the attack buffing yak oh hey look we got the, we got the page actually it's miles ahead of prairie yak you think really there's there's so much debate over over the that one and the prairie yak i used to go for the um what's his name the two three yak i used to go for longhorned yak a lot but then my mind has been changed since to go for prairie yak just because the attack the the life stat is usually more important than the attack stat um but like if we run this with haste plus deepwood stalker maybe maybe i'll take a look at the list but first We've got Topaz Yak. The Topaz Yaks were born from the mother to be the eyes of the herd. In peaceful times, they would have scouted for green pastures to graze. Now they roam ahead and trample the enemies of the herd. Ah, and we have a poetry redemption. Hey, Fickle. Welcome back to streaming. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for the game. Yaks versus Yaks. Um, I have a perfect poetry idea. Uh... Will this be a thing? Will it exist? Oh yes! It exists! <laughs> okay, wait, why is... I'll, I'll show you guys in a sec, my screen's just super zoomed in. Okay, window... capture... Uh... Alright. It's the yak! <laughs> I can't believe I never thought of this before, but we have a yak poem, finally. All right. The Yak by Hilaire Belloc. As a friend to the children, commend me, the yak. You will find it exactly the thing. It will carry and fetch. You can ride on its back or lead it about with a string. The Tartar who dwells on the plains of Tibet. Is that how you spell Tibet? Or is it Tibet? Wait, what is this? A desolate reason region of snow. Okay. I always learn new things from these poems. Anyways. The Tartar who dwells on the plains of Tibet has for centuries made it a nursery pet. And surely the Tartar should be no should know. Then tell your papa where the yak can be got. And if he is awfully rich, he will buy you the creature, or else he will not. I cannot be positive which. Alright. <laughs> Yikes a yak poem. Hey JT, how's it going? Wait, I just wanna see how to pronounce this. Thibet? The English word Tibet or Thibet dates back to uh generally that Tibet. Oh, is this just another name for it? Or another spelling for it? Interesting. So I guess you still pronounce it. Pronounce. Where's, where's the Google? Okay, whatever. Anyways. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's pronounced Tibet. It's just an alternate spelling. <clears throat> it's a very cute poem. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy there's a yak poem. Okay, so let's take a look at the list. Stalker doesn't fit in here, you don't play spirits. We could run spirits, but then it's getting a little bit away from the yaks, that's true. Um, See, so yeah, I don't think Gift of Rako is working at all. We have the Longhorned Yak as an option, but I, I don't know. Uh, Spirit Spice, I wasn't impressed with. S, you recommended just straight up um, Elderwood, <laughs> which 
Like, to be fair, you're probably playing Spirit Spice for three costs a lot of the time anyways. This is just way more consistent. You don't get the charge three, you get pretty much the same stats. You don't get the charge three flying. But, like, you have to kill off two creatures. That's still pretty difficult, because you have to kill them off on your turn. Um... Could also go for Tiki's. That would help with Spirit Spice, maybe. <clears throat> All our dreams come true. She played your Yak list, blue heavy one or the light one. I have played the blue one. That one's really fun. Maybe we scrap this, to be honest. We could play different Yaks, better Yaks. Because, I mean, we got the lore page, right? Or the light one. I'm down to play uh, Yak's S of Dream. That's a fun list. Let's let's play the S of Dream. I, is it still on the Feria main page? Or no, that's S of Mill. Currently working on three different Yak decks. We're going to see another full-on Yak lineup. I'll actually probably try and attend the next tournament. You took Dream out of the Yak list? But yes, it was the best card. Okay, I'm just gonna start from scratch. Oh. I'm gonna call this S of Yaks. <laughs> Cause there's no Dream anymore. Okay, so we've got... Um... Like, Sapphire Yak's the best. And this just runs pretty much no Yaks. It's just the Yak attack. And then a lot of 10 costs. We got Magnus, Baron. What? Oh, only two water Ellie's. We got failed, phantasm, three phantasm, three storm spawn, no dream, you say. Aurora, windfall, mochi. I think mochi is one of my favorite cards, honestly. It's such a good card. Um, Beiru. <clears throat> I noticed actually that Beiru's got a moon behind him. I was super happy when I saw that. I, I, I almost considered changing my entire um, profile pick to Beiru. Uh, we got Archon and Fugoro. Wait, what? Why do I have too many cards? Creation? Don't think you're in Water Ellie anymore? Wait, but I copied the list. What? Did I add something else? But. Because I'm looking at the list online. I, I guess I added too many numbers of something. I see all three copies. What is it that you're. not running? Oh yeah, where is creation? Wait, am I looking at the wrong list? Perhaps? Because isn't creation supposed to be the whole point of the deck? I feel like I'm looking at the wrong list. Because <laughs> yeah, creation was like the whole point. You're supposed to creation mother, right? <clears throat> um... Got Archon... Three Phantasms is a lot, right? They're all Well, you can use them on the, the Little Yaks. Three Windfall, three Storm Spawn. Took you a while to optimize? Right. Don't need... Oh, you need three times? 
Lizard! Hey, we're, we're building the, uh, the S of Dream. The Dreamless S of Dream. Um... So what if I put in here wrong? Three Ag Attack. Yes. All the discount cards. We got Mother. Three times failed. For storm spawn things, mochis. Oh, wait, 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 you don't run the sapphire yak. Ah, uh, I, I guess that makes sense. I mean, the point isn't really get buffs. All, yeah, there's not enough yaks. Fair enough. I, I just kind of auto picked those. Fair enough. All right, so this should be the list then. <clears throat> So this is just sevens from two years ago with Sapphire Yak. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna we're gonna roll with this. Alright, you guys can't actually see. So let me take some quick screenshots. Ten out of ten optimizing. <laughs> Settle down now, children. Oh man, I I'm rank seven, and we got what? Uh, reset this. Monday. I don't know if I'm gonna get there, because my, my elo has decayed a lot at this point, and probably... Hey look, it's Poops. Somebody said he was playing something. I've already forgotten. Oh, oh, Green Rush. That's, that, that's, what, that's what you said. Green Rush, yes. All right, green rush might be tough. Um, I guess we keep the windfall with Archon in hand, but like if it's green rush, we don't want windfall, right? We need to play stuff. Uh, we go second. Ah, we'll keep it. The deck's pretty clunky if I draw into other stuff. No Fogoro? Add time? Should I build the Centerland? Or is he gonna build that for me? Yeah, we don't do that. Do we? Because we have charge, we just like. Yeah, whatever. We'll go side. <laughs> Time of Legends, yeah, time, time seems pretty important. Oh, we don't even want to go to six lands. Yeah, why is Fogoro here? That's a bit silly. Explore up and slow him down. <laughs> um... We can go other side, play the creature pretty safely, I think, because he's got a double neutral on this side, and then he can't buff. Uh, we could put, could put both, but then we give up on Windfall. Um... Play the other one. Nah. <clears throat> I 
Spooky. Um, well, we'll force him to invest that land, at least. <laughs> um... So we can mochi on right side. Yeah, I think just mochi on right side is fine. We'll pass. Try and build up to windfall on the following turn. And we'll step here out of the collection spot. Archon right side too. I want to win full. I think. Because next turn I should be able to plus one win full and then Aurora and Archon. And we got Storm Spawn, but I guess that's not. That costs 13! Oh no, we want Aurora anyways. Um. He's gonna be able to buff and kill this, sadly, but... I guess we're just playing the Storm Spawn as a 7 cost. Because Archon just is in buff range, he gets value traded, which I'm sad about. So we just play Storm Spawn as is and he's gonna trade into something. Should be fine. And then Archon gets buffed. That's why you're better than me. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I'm just making decisions. I don't know much about this deck. But I have learned from that one play where um, I was playing against like Yellow Rush, I was playing Lizard's List, and Lizard was like, you gotta save up for Windfall, and I just played the creatures and I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta save up for Windfall. So Lizard has taught me that <laughs> everything's fine, exactly. That's a strange value trade, because you didn't need to buff there, right? Because I... Like, that's just a wasted buff, isn't it? I get to just hit. Unless he desperately wants that collector for whatever reason. Oh, look at this fairy. So we draw. Oh, we're good. <laughs> we are good. Um... So it's an option to creation the 6-6, six, six, which might be good. What are what are creation targets? The mother, but like this is a fast paced game, right? I think creation on this is worth it. Beard! <laughs> well, okay, we're going against like Virgin Force and stuff. Like, I guess I'm not forced to play anything here. Hey, Zorny. What are you doing not streaming? Make a poll, will Elpanico appear in an hour? <laughs> I haven't seen Elpanico in a while, but then he, he appeared in the last tournament. Out of nowhere. I guess I've been out of touch with the community. Being a bit of a silly rascal, don't push your luck too much, young mister. Yeah, we got a few streamers going. Gonna do some more dragons? Nice, nice. Oh, you poor soul. Um, do I have to build my lake? Because I've got Fogoro on the list. It doesn't matter what I do. Whatever. We're not, we're not playing Fogoro. This should just be a win. I guess I wanted to step on the land, but oh well. I 
I mean, I say that, we just need, uh, some big stuff. Okay. <laughs> El Panico did really well in the tournament. Uh, I actually wanted to try out his, his red, yellow, angry. Because... I thought that was a pretty neat list, and I haven't played with it much. Okay, but we're gonna we're gonna keep doing this one. I just want to add time. We'll ditch for Goro. I'll give one more screenshot. Green Rush. <laughs> Isn't the Dex creator a genius? <laughs> Just checking in. Alright, take care, Zorni. Hope you're doing well with uh, your courses and everything. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Zorni came to warm your bed. <laughs> Managed to contest the meta card Runin's Messenger. Oh, yes. Grand Didias. Alright. Um, what were you playing again? Green. Yellow? Yeah. Um, do I keep the Beiru? Pretty good at cont- oh no, he's, he's running Nightmare, right? We don't want Beiru. Got a new job yesterday, next to the university. Oh, sweet! Alright, bye. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Working near, um... Yeah, working near your school place. So we'll go dodge sides. I guess we play the mochi first, try and get the discounts early. <clears throat> my um my old job was like just down the street from my school, so it was awesome. Because I was taking night courses as well. So I could just Um like right after work I could go to school. <laughs> I like how I'm getting excited about that. Right after work, I could go to school. Oh boy. <laughs> um, Mr. Beiru. <clears throat> Do I use it to contest? I feel like it's okay if I put Beiru in range. I don't know. It doesn't feel great, but like, we want to get this out soon before Nightmare, right? Uh... I think I'm just gonna attempt, and it's fine. Pro tip, have a can of beans for dinner and tuck yourself into the sheets to save on heating. <laughs> Life hacks from Super Blizzard. Don't have to be cold, oh my god. Just nailing them. <laughs> oh, we got creation, Beiru? Um, I think I definitely want to contest. This is just, this is pretty, pretty large. He's not on Nightmare. He's got to invest two buffs to kill this. I think we go for Beiru. Is it worth creationing? I think it honestly is. Like, we pre-creation, we drop another Beiru, what's he gonna do? His lands are... dead. And it's gonna be a 3 cost, but that's okay. The double Beiru. Beiru's lonely, make him a friend. Yeah, Mochi's a scrub. Step, uh, step the 2-2 up? 
Yeah, I guess I could have stubbed the 2-2 two -two up. He's gonna do a buff and clear both. <laughs> He's got... he runs Stalker, I believe? That's about it. Oh! Okay, I think he's definitely duffel buffing then. Wait, you're gonna give up your forest? Okay, I definitely should have stepped up the 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> but he's gonna give up his lands willingly. Alright by me. Um, like, there's an option to Phantasm this, but yeah, that's not an option. It's fine. We'll, we'll take the hit. It's fine. Um, and just drop other Beiru behind. Probably want to get the other Mochi out. I kind of build another land if I want to do that, I guess, but... Um, would be pretty good. Dropping other Beiru. I mean, I don't need to drop the other Beiru. Guess to take this. I guess we just drop it. I'm gonna put Mochi on this side, drop the other Beiru. <clears throat> He's probably got Tosser. <laughs> The counter tech, he's stream sniping, playing a green yellow deck with Frog Tosser for the counter Beiru. I think Archon Center was slightly better. Center? Or you mean here? But but if I put him here, then doesn't he just die with or or, or here, okay. Um I guess that gives me the option to collect and stuff. Death touch. Ooh, you got really lucky. Well, I guess you only had two cards. Fair enough. Um. Ooh, I don't have enough for Phantasm, right? I got five, six. Sad. Pretty sad. Phantasm would have been a nice answer. D1. Yeah. Draw for failed? That's true. <laughs> I am a god. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> also, he's investing so many lands that are just getting eaten. So we go... I mean, we want to tuck into the corner, I guess. Probably just take this and hide here. Push up with the Beiru? Is there any disadvantage to... Like, I, I just am safe here, right? I guess if he has dash or something. But yeah, see you there. <laughs> right? Uh, push up right side is what you mean. Really? I guess I have like so much stuff. Fair enough. And now I kind of don't want to be in left side anymore, but... We draw. Fair enough. Oh. <laughs> but we go for Archon, it's just better value. Right here. He went long term anyways, but he has training it seems, so I'd block with Archon. Mmm. I think it's alright. Other failed, that's pretty good. So we just draw. The other Archon. 
So we failed the Aurora. Creation Beiru, just <laughs> more Beirus. <laughs> Our lands were so inefficient this game, were they? Well, like going right side was pretty inefficient, it was. Um Would you like some tea? I guess I take the pre-hit here, just because of buffs. Yeah. He does have Soul Drain as well, I think. Um, and I think we go for Creation Beiru? I mean... He's gotta do something about his land situation. And, uh, maybe block. He liked keeping Aurora since it adds up to 7. Oh, I guess your, your idea is to fail the storm spawns. Yeah, I'm always used to just using failed whenever it's got value. Fair enough. And then you got the 1-1 the one one there. I guess Beiru could just keep collecting and we fight with Archon. But he's got Nightmare coming as well. Well, I guess he's got to play it this turn. Yep. All right. Spirit. Gonna buff nothing. Six cost yak attack. Do I go for land destruction? No. <laughs> so can probably plus one. Or I guess we want to draw for combo stuff. Arkham plus one? Alright. <laughs> Should be able to play the six cost one pretty easily. It's a chance we lose. Maybe Archon down in front of Orb was much safer. <clears throat> like I guess if he has training and like manages to go face, but I haven't seen training from him. It seems like. He's playing a much slower list. Um, am I actually throwing all my yaks into this? I don't think so. We just save for next turn, I guess. But I can't, I can't phantasm yak attack same turn. Um, draw? No. I guess I just throw them all in. a little awkward. Okay, I'm gonna build more lands. <laughs> you never take out the 1-1? One -one? I don't know, this is the one that I'm seeing, and then we fill in lands. And... Why not? It's free. Step Beiru and double land. Hmm. 
I'd rather have a 6 3 over a 2 1. A 6 3. How do I get a 6 3 though? If you go for clear, you take a Virgin with Yak in value. Ah, I see. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so he was saying, I had the 6-6 six, six here, right? Instead of just throwing it into the, the Virgin, I could throw all of the Yaks into it and then value trade the 6-3, the 3-3. Six, three. Uh, the, the three, three. Yeah. yeah, 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 Lizard's line was better. That's why we can't have nice things. Lizard always got a better line up his sleeve. But I, I don't think we ever lose this. Like, he's got... Uh, like, our, our win conditions are much better, right? We've used, like, two or three creations now, I guess. We only got one mother left. Uh, or one mother, in general. Um... Draw for the thing? He has Nightmare saved for Mother? He's gonna Nightmare the Beiru. It's so painful watching him make a new desert every turn. <laughs> the poor, the poor guy who got beiru I mean, we've built eight lakes. Um, I mean, drawing doesn't doesn't help us that much. We're just plus one and pass, I guess. Maybe collect. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. It's an eight ten collector. Step up Beiru so he does something? That's true. We're probably gonna invest Yak Attack at some point and collect anyways. Also probably in hindsight should have built that land. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> um... Leaves a lot of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Barry right was a bit much, I guess. Um, <laughs> is there a point in yak attacking? I have to build another land, or we just go. Baron defensively. I kind of have to push the Beiru back now, which it hurts a little. This was just, I should have pushed up or like something. This was like really dumb. Um, I don't know, <laughs> go for more lands. I'm gonna get a failed experiment off the Baron. I'm calling it now. Yak Mother's gonna carry Copium. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, this is what I mean. Like, we our win condition is just better. Like, he probably has another nightmare. Strategy. But ooh. I can see. it's a triple discount on Mother.
pretty good hit indeed. So our mother's seven cost. <laughs> Probably best hit I could have gotten. I guess like windfall would be the best hit, right? <laughs> what? Are wait what? What? <laughs> Alright, I wasn't expecting that at all. I had no idea this was a soul leader list. It did not appear to be a soul leader list to me at all. <laughs> Alright. Um, Alright. Well, we act attack uh, double on the side, I guess. It's not going to accomplish much, though. We don't get to we don't get to trade anything. We might be dead, to be honest. Um, how can I salvage this? Could play mother. Step here. No, that's not worth it. Um, maybe I don't play the yaks just yet. I need a better yak spot. Oh, I'm running out of time. <clears throat> Not ideal. Not ideal at all. Two eggs to kill three. One double collect left. Three eggs to kill three. What? Two eggs to kill three? I can't kill this, there's a taunt. Thanks for the follow. Hi Putolo. Welcome to the stream. Right side was free. Oh, put two yaks there? Was it that obvious? <laughs> Kill 7-3 Vergerin. Oh, I don't know how I didn't see that. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> um Yeah, alright. So three eggs kill into this. And we are down to six cost mother. We're on four, five. Sad. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Now I just kind of have to invest all of these. I don't deserve to win this. <laughs> I, I feel like I still am, probably am, but I don't deserve it. You have Yak Attack for this go? Yeah. But yeah, yeah you're right. That last turn? Just two Yaks hit in. Collect. But yeah, Mother should make this okay. I can't believe he builds Soul Eater lands with five legs. <laughs> that hurts. Never listen to Uncle S. <laughs> Double Stalker? 
Jesus, you scared me. <laughs> um, so we go face, potentially? Or do I double collect? Because I don't win if I don't apply pressure, yeah? Poor Windfall's just kind of sitting there. Um... Sure, we go face. We can't collect. Killing three, five also threatens this face. Oh, that's true. We could just clear. Um. Yeah. All right. I guess I like that better. We give up collection still further, but we take the value trade. I don't know, we're gonna need more than the 6-6 six, six to contest face, it's not enough. We threaten the warrior. On 8 cards, what do I have left? Uh, I should have one more mochi that can be phantasmed, I guess. Uh, one more yak attack? One more creation. We have Magnus. Magnus is actually... Well... A little far off, but it'll be alright. He's one off lethal with Nightmare. True. He could have had Nightmare there. He had lethal if he didn't kill the spider. Okay, fair enough. Seven Feria for his last Eater. Or does he only want two? That's true. Yeah, Eater's coming. Um, he should have, like... One more virgin for us. Yeah, I guess we gotta save this for Soul Eater. Wait, what? You had it? Had it and he didn't use it. I guess he didn't have enough to, to finish. Fair enough, I mean, like, he's got Soul Eater. Uh, like, he needs to finish off the seven. Um, I guess we gotta kill it with this. And then just plus one. I honestly probably stay here in collection. Because I'm desperate for collections. If he plays something, it's fine. He's got this line, too, to play stuff on. Um, pretty desperate for collections. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we can step on the desert. Can't go to 10 Feria otherwise if he blocks. Yeah, yeah, we definitely need 10 Feria for this. And like double windfall is gonna help a lot. I think that's all he has. Okay, he's got Soul Drain. <laughs> Rip. That taunt was very important. Do I draw? I think I draw, right? We draw four- I know, we're running low on cards, but like... Very important these turns, and I need failed. Like, if I can get Magnus out this turn, that helps me out a lot, right? I don't know. Then we're running into fatigue, I guess. Because uh, we have, what, one failed left or two? Mm. 
It's very risky if we don't get it. I guess it's pretty unlikely that we draw. Like one card out of six, that's not a good chance. I guess we just... I guess we don't risk it. Um... Now we're just plus one. Take it. I'm not gonna risk it. Because if we have any hope at all, like Magnus is gonna be hitting into things a lot. I think we're dead. I can't deal with that. Sadly enough. <laughs> that would have been my draw? I guess I could have played it. It would have been alright. Um, so I, I actually have to phantasm this. I mean, I'm dead. There's, there's not much I can do. Um... Yeah, I'll take a draw then. Creation. I don't have enough win conditions. <laughs> it's fine. Oh wait, I mean it's not fine. <laughs> Okay, we'll go one more, and I'll I'll switch. Uh, well, it's almost lore page. Maybe I'll just keep going. Hmm. Should have listened to Uncle Lizard. There's a lot of like 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 I completely, completely botched that one. That was that was my fault. Hey, Bets. Nice beard. Thank you. How's it going? A long time no see from everybody. I know I've got this like ominous glow going. The lighting's just awful. But like if I turn this lamp off, it's just kind of... I don't know. <laughs> what a so we always start center for the Archons. Oh, did I toss the the, the, the failed into the other guy? It's fine. Finally got the Armageddon achievement. Yeah, that sounded tough. <laughs> Might need longer to God rank. Just one lost stream will be up for, for more minutes. It's a win-win. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if... I mean, I might as well get to God this, this season. Um... Just double neutral in, tuck in the Baron, or double neutral up, throw up the Baron. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I might as well try to get to God. I, I don't know if top 10 is very feasible. I've been playing memes, and I've been playing, and I haven't been playing. <laughs> so I'm probably pretty far off from the top 10. I'll probably will just omit that this time around. <laughs> Excellent. Um, yeah, I, I don't deserve the luck I'm getting today. Even with even with luck, <laughs> I. Um, what do I do with this power? I mean, we creation it. I guess. Like, creation's not gonna get the discounts, I guess, but whatever. Um, so... Uh, 
Just mother in between walls. Sort of take control of this. Wait with the creation after the Yak attack? Yeah, there's no way he kills this with two attack. Alright, I guess he's got six. I guess there's a way he kills it, but yeah, fair enough. Oh, sorry, no, he's got taunt. Yeah, yeah, no, he doesn't kill it. a superior deck. <laughs> hey, 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 that's not a meme. I like how uh, everyone, uh, like you and Hunter especially, will create these like really meme -y decks and you're like, no, it's not meme. I mean, yeah, they, they do well in tournaments and stuff, I guess. I've seen them do well, but... Red Blur. Really want to yak attack? I guess I can still yak attack. We just hit plus one. Get the value. It's an awkward yak attack, but it works. Don't want to play into uh, Salamander, so I guess we'll just keep the yak there. His hand needed to be triple guidance. Yeah, to to kill mother. Mother of all yaks survives many trials. A deck that does well in tournaments and has a lot of win rates isn't really a beam. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, like the tournament tournaments aren't super competitive these days, but like, yeah, that's fair. So we gotta lock in our creation now. Seven cost. Pretty good. I really wanna try playing around with Frog Tosser again and like green blue jump. I'm interested how that archetype works now. It's a bit awkward with like the flying meta, but uh, I saw Alpanico bring a list, so that's pretty neat. Krog is good, but you consider it a meme on ladder? <clears throat> yeah, it's it's a it's a very situational. It's it's a counter deck, like for swarm and stuff. So if you're not facing a lot of swarm on ladder, then it's a total meme. Uh, I guess I just save it for windfall. Or, or, or we put Archon on this to contest. Yeah. Take the pre-hit, we're gonna get ground shakered, but wanna kill this, I guess. Wait, is he playing ground shaker and frog to wait, whoa, 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 He's on eight lens. <laughs> Am I gonna give me treed? Is he playing tree? Do I have to be careful about that? Is he playing ground shaker in this? No way. Is it I guess he could be. It's, it looks very greedy. 
Um, so I guess in that case we step back. <laughs> Yes. So, uh, I'm gonna lock in the lens right now so that it can't block. Um, can't put any creatures to block here. And I, I think that I want to collect here anyways, especially if I'm retreating. I, I don't see a way he's gonna like kill all of this stuff. He plays Crackthorn with Tosser? Maybe just put all the cards in the deck? <laughs> One of everything? <laughs> yeah, Krog doesn't have good win rates overall, but it's a counter deck, right? It serves a purpose. So just Crackthorn? Another forest? Alright, I've apparently forgotten how to play Faria because building those lines is so dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna blame it on my being away for a while. That's what I'm gonna blame it on. Okay. Well, we can slap a Beiru somewhere. Or we just build up to windfall things. I mean, I can take the trade. It's not honestly that bad. He gets to value... I mean, I, I get two creatures for, his, for my one. I, I think it's fine. Uh, and then I get to windfall on top of it and play Beiru. Don't have to be as passive. Um, so just drop Beiru here and start slowly eating his lands. Potentially play the Mochi as well. Do I have enough for Phantasm is the question. We got five. Uh, next turn we're on six plus one seven to Phantasm. I think I can play the Mochi. Could step this up? No, we don't know. He's played two salamanders. I guess I can step up. Now we can't shake her next turn. Why is the lands bad? Yes! <laughs> Baited. Oh. <laughs> oh. Alright, we got him. And the failed. Sweet. Um, is it worth drawing? This costs, what, seven? Oh, I have to plus one then. Step the bear up. Um, I, I don't really care if this dies, to be honest. I guess, I don't know, I haven't seen a single ground shaker yet. Uh, it's okay. Here we go.
Moon, there is no shaker. I am so uh, terrified of shaker. <laughs> Defeated a much stronger opponent. Okay. We have eight minutes. I guess we'll just play this again. I want to play Angry, I think. It's a deck that I really want to try. But uh, with eight minutes till next lore page, might as well just play this once more. So... Yeah. Shakerphobia is a serious illness. <laughs> just gonna be walking around in real life and be like, oh my god, Shakers, this could be coming from anywhere. And then we're gonna have, like, um, uh, here in BC, we're well overdue for an earthquake. So actually, <laughs> we've all got shaker phobia over here, too. Cause it's supposed to have, it's supposed to have happened like for so long now. So it's building, tension rising, and we're not prepared at all for it. Good night, Moon. Night, PC. See you soon. Yes, I am back for. Good. <laughs> sort of. Because, I mean, I, I should be able to consistently stream now. Um, I've only got one more one more exam and some a few more assignments, so... Yeah, I should be good. And my next exam's not for a couple weeks, so I got plenty time. I'm hoping to get back to guide videos as well. Um, I have some ideas that will be coming out soon. Ish. Maybe the new year. <laughs> I, I want to, like take this month to kind of prepare some stuff um, and maybe make higher quality videos we'll see I mean I'm at, well here's the thing I'm gonna have my last semester of school in January so it's gonna and then I'm taking on a larger workload so I'm gonna be pretty busy so I want I want to prepare some stuff that can um, push me through that semester while also being able to consistently upload. So I'm probably going to come up with some ideas that are easier for me to edit and stuff, but I want to like create... I want to create like... I don't know, you know how like YouTubers have their like, their like outro screens and stuff? I want to make like a, a decent out outro sc screen, because... My outro screen right now is just like some random JPEG I found on Google that had space and stars. <laughs> we need more beard. Beard stream. Also, I want to complete the lore pages this month. That was my goal. Um, I, I said that I've like I've been working on lore pages for all this time, and I wanted to finish this December, and we have a nice holiday reading stream. Um, I, I think I've got, like, just under 20 left. So what I might do after getting uh, the next lore page, honestly, is open a bunch of chests, because I think I have, like, 30 or 40 mythic chests stored up right now. Let's see how many we got. We got one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, oop, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, still have husk. Eighteen, yeah, eighteen lore pages. That's uh, is quite a bit still, honestly. Like if I'm not going to be playing every day, uh, but I should be able to get quite a few from from mythic chests. And if I just open all of them, then I'll I'll have like an estimate of how many lore pages I need left to get. So we're gonna have seventeen left by the end of today. And we'll open a bunch of chests, maybe. JT! Good luck! Uh, 
Um, we keep the. I guess we keep this. Assuming the mochi survives, Aurora's alright on it. JT likes to play burn stuff though, so I don't know. Maybe won't be surviving. Oh, that's a forest. Seed! Seed is another one of my favorite cards now. <laughs> Ah, FaceTime! Thanks for the follow! How's the streaming been going? A mountain. Ooh. It's getting angry. I think I'm gonna fight. Yes? <laughs> With nothing on board, I, I, I hope my tutu's safe. Oh, maybe a salamander? Helicopter. Hmm, that's nice. I think we just auto-play this. Probably draw. Ah, uh, we don't have the lands. So I think I put Magnus here, out of range, right? Or does it matter? What can he have? He can have Salamander to just like one-shot this? Yeah, we put him here, I guess. Salamander's to... Uh, yeah, that's a four-point swing, so yeah, we put the Magnus here. Oh, he's stepping up. Okay. Fair enough. So we'll take a pre-hit, see what we draw. It's a mochi. Um, and if I wanted to, I could Aurora. I don't know if that's really worth it. Um, it forces him to invest the buff. If he has Flame Burst, I'm a little sad. I want to get at least one more combat trigger on this. So Aurora's looking okay. <laughs> Um, four. I think I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> Maybe. Well, if he uses Flame Burst. I just don't know what he's doing yet. Is it creature based? I, I gotta go for it, I guess. Would you like some tea? This, this. Or maybe we save for Beiru? I was on 5, yeah. It's fine. So I mean, debatable whether to buff this or not, but I think it's okay. Just to play around Flame Burst, because getting one hit on Magnus is really huge. He might still have the damage to kill this. Alright. Not bad. Pretty good, actually. Little sad. <laughs> um... These just like 
one one points of, of stats are really annoying. Yaks. So I might just uh leave. <laughs> Might be an option to just leave instead of doing like phantasm things just yet. Really got to get Beirut down. That's important. So yeah, I think I'm just going to do this. Go between wells. Uh, he's gonna put a put a land here, and then we got yak attack stuff. So maybe we put this here. And we'll do this. I kind of want to buff the mochi now before ground shaker things. I'm getting ground shaker syndrome again. Um, yeah, just do this. And it's fine to play in range, I mean, we've got Yak Attack and stuff for follow-up. Also, I can now, like, stroke my beard as I think about things. I feel mighty fancy. The ultimate way to ponder. <laughs> Does this have farm boys on the cover? What is this card back? They've got farm boys! That is an amazing card back. Is that from like a. a is that a seasonal card back? Ooh, a brigand. Ah. <laughs> okay, I guess there was that. Okay, so we plus one windfall, I guess. Well, I'm gonna start with that anyways. Uh... Can double yak hit into this. I might just have to accept that I'm gonna get hit with the the brigand. Um, but I really want to get the Beirut, right? What is this? 17 Feria? Yeah, that's not happening. Uh, like Beirut's so big. But then you've got six stats on board. We're not doing value trade things. I guess it's not worth it. Yeah, I mean, he's on one card. I think it should be okay. We just value trade Yak Attack. Oh, Yak Attack first. I guess I didn't need to plus one there then. Yeah, he gets the hit. That's okay. Can play Beiru next turn. Yeah, those are awesome card backs. Makes me wish that I kind of played Feria more back in the day, when seasonal card backs were a thing. Oh, taking the hit. Interesting. He had a free face hit here. I guess like I get to value trade with the Phantasm, but still, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Really? Gets all the pings. Well, we get to Beiru now. Um, so there's Beiru right here. 
and then I think plus one, because we can potentially get a second bear, and then I go back. Plus one. Do your thing, Beiru. Oh my god, he's got an answer. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> that's not good. That's... not good. Um... Is it worth it to creation the Phantasm just for that? No, it's not. He's got buffs. Alright. I don't know what I'm drawing for. Hmm. I guess just something else to play, because I've got nothing playable right now. Yeah, we just draw. That'll have to do. So I should be able to put this in range. Take a step. Take the mighty 10 to the face. Could have Elderwood Embrace. Nope. Seek Shelter. Okay, Seek Shelter is good information. I don't think he's running Flame Burst then. There's a lot of cards in this. Uh, he's got Rakoa Copter, he's got Salamander, and he's got Crackthor. Yeah, there's no way he has the Flame Burst. Oh, that's annoying. Um, I guess I keep trawling. So what am I hoping for? I'm hoping to get Mother down, I guess. Uh, which means another Yak attack would be nice, but that's very expensive. I plus one, I'm on seven. Next turn I go to plus four, eleven. I guess I can play mother if I plus one, so we might as well plus one. And probably don't hit. Because I need this to stay alive if I want to play mother next turn, right? Go to eleven, twelve, yeah. Because mother is going to be my saving grace. <laughs> If he has like any buffs or anything. <laughs> Face or the pre hit? I think at this point you want to go face Horse Master. Oh, I didn't need to plus one. Well, sure, I'm gonna plus one anyways. Um, I need to like double taunt this thing just in case. And then we go up and collect. So he is running Horse Master, also good knowledge to have. Um, need to keep track of this cost, because it's going to come down to the wire, potentially. <laughs> many, many buff. Does he run Ground Shaker? That's another question. <clears throat> um... So we... We double trade this. Probably want a pre-creation. Maybe? Or 
do I want an Archon? Because it's going to be at 3 life. No Flame Brist, I've decided. So Mother is probably safe. I think I can go for Archon. I need to play it a little bit risky if I want to win anyways. I th well, the other thing is that maybe I can play this. Like, I could just play the Mother next turn. Yeah, okay, actually. I like this better. <laughs> I can just simply play a Mother next turn, I think. Uh, she should be on 10 after this trades. After the trades, 10. Yeah, we should be fine. So I was thinking of playing the Archon here to contest the Horse Master, but Mother's a lot bigger a swing. attack. Okay, that's okay. So we play the mother here anyways, I think. Um, just because of how powerful it is. Taunt this boy. Gotta deal with his collections. Mmm. We just plus one for the rest of the game. I think I think we'll be okay, <laughs> honestly, as long as we keep like enough targets here so the crackthorn pings don't kill us. I think we'll be okay. Double creation in hand was pretty nice. Okay, that's fine. So I should be able to just collect here. I'm, I'm lo leaving my 5-8 and go over here, but that's okay, whatever. Um, Archon, I think, plus one. Uh, so, th yeah, the mother, oh, yeah, mother is four costs, so... And one of the yaks died, so we should be able to get a free, well, a five cost mother once we yak attack. Should be okay with that. Does he run ground shaker even? I haven't even seen ground shakers. Can I take this trade? I think I can try. Block the axe grinder spot and just pass from here. I guess I could phantasm if I really wanted to, but we just save the fairy. Yeah. React to whatever he does. So what are the big things that could come? Seek shelter? <laughs> Seek shelter's a big thing. Yeah, we want to save Phantasm for big things, I guess, in case Ice Rock Behemoth comes out of nowhere. <laughs> 
Ice Rock, Maginata, could be mighty spooky. Does he run Teleport? Ooh. Maybe I should be cautious of Teleport, actually. Forest was a lot more important to block. Got, uh, 410. <laughs> That's okay. Nice. Uh, I think I can draw here. Um, that's like an absurd amount of Faria, right? Don't want a Phantasm this, I should be able to answer it pretty easily. We want a Yak Attack and just throw all the Yaks in here to give ourselves a free Mother, I guess. Let's take a draw. Mochi. So yeah, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna throw three X into this and just taunt it with mother again. And should be free. Double taunt, and I guess we'll play the mochi. Um, gives him a salamander target, but that's okay. I want to get the mochi down as soon as possible to actually get value out of it. And I can probably start, I guess, marching the 5-8 towards face, because I need to apply some pressure. Copter. But I also need to like answer this stuff because I don't actually have a lot. Oh. So I'm gonna step, step. I'm gonna drop a phantasm probably up here. Just transform mother? Is that worth it? <laughs> Definitely want to play this. Um, like the 2-2 two -two is kind of irrelevant, he's going to be collecting for me, so I, th I honestly think I buffed the mother. It's a 2 life buff, it's fine. We get that pressure going face now. Ah, he does have it! Ah! <laughs> okay. Interesting. <laughs> I haven't seen a ground shaker all game. I guess he just didn't draw any. So... Do I phantasm the ground shaker? That's so bad. But we can set up lethal if we put Phantasm face this turn. So I kind of like it. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to deal with it, right? on three Faria, I think we'll be good. Well played. Two life remaining. Yikes. <laughs> Let's see what the lore page is. Oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> it's the mother. GG, JT. I guess we gotta keep playing this, huh? <laughs> well, how about that? Alright, we'll go for it. Um, what other Yak decks could I play around with? I mean, that's pretty much it. There's mono blue, and there's like green yellow. Those are the, those are the yak archetypes. Um, all your shakers bottom eight. Yeah, I was wondering if you're even running shakers at that point. And I saw them come out and I'm like, oh, just unlucky. I mean, with creation in this list, we should be able to get the Mother Laura page pretty quick, I think. So 17 Laura pages. How many shinies do I have? Not too many left to collect, to be honest. I might be able to get a, f like, a full collection just by opening all my mythics. Because there's only like one here... Th okay. They do add up. I've also stockpiled like a bunch of uh, the blue chests, just to see how many I can hold. <laughs> Lots of green stuff today. There's very much green stuff today. If I want to like do it well on ladder, I could like switch to like flyers or something. Just get some easy elo. So we definitely dodge sides. Full mythic collection. Open up. Yeah, I'm gonna open them once I get my mother of yak. And then I'll get, be getting a lot of lore pages from the mythic chest opens then. Um, and then I'll be able to see how many more I need. Maybe we'll do some Pandora. Like if I, if I don't get all my lore pages and there's like a significant amount more for me to get, maybe we could do some Pandora at some point in the month. Can I yak attack this? Not really. I am just shy of being able to yak attack it. Okay. Um, I guess I go for the double neutrals instead of the lake. Double neutral, double neutral. And then I've got Yak Attack Land set up to counter his buff. Um, I need the third lake built. But I could put that somewhere else. Right? I don't know. Is it better to build the lake? Maybe it is. Actually, I guess the lake's better. Then we can double neutral to the right if we want to double collect. We have a bit more flexibility this way. Yeah, let's build the lake. Lake up and pass? Yeah, I was debating between double neutral to get like a more aggressive land, but I think the lake's gonna be more of a payoff. It was a good game. Yeah, thanks for the game.
could have neutraled up and off to the right. Hey, kids. Welcome to the chat. To the right. Oh, like one neutral here? Uh, that's also true. Yeah. I th yeah. I, I don't like to... I think it's I think it's worse to, like, invest that land sooner. Oh my god, this hand. Because <laughs> um, now I have the option here to either invest fully in right side or do something else on left. Uh, which I might do. I might, like, keep a yak here. And just step... Step the yak onto the forest. Instead of go for collection. Secure this side. I think we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna put one here. Put all the yaks here. We step you up, build this aggressive land. Hit, hit, step on forest. Towards the other well, yeah. And then yeah, and then you get that nice like lake spot. Yeah, I see it. Alpanico would say draw, draw, draw. <laughs> I mean, with this hand. The huntress is here. It's a bit unfortunate. Ah! <laughs> Clunky! I guess I'm playing the storm spawn here, actually. Like, I could draw here. No, 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 we don't play storm spawn, never mind. That's stupid. I <laughs> think we got a 4-4 four, four here. Okay, I draw. Okay, I, I just put it down. Forces the Runin to stay there and not step up at least. I was hoping to draw something. I mean, that was it was a decent play if I had a follow-up, but uh... This hand's looking a little nasty. But if we get, like, Beiru soon, that would be excellent. I was hoping to take control of left side with that play. <laughs> Might not be happening. Yeah, it might not be happening. I might end up having to invest right anyways. Or just surrender. Oh, that helps. Sort of. We get to discount it at least. I think I just... Do I play this? I get the mochi discount? Oh! Right, I have other legendaries in here. Whoops. I guess that works too. Plus one windfall? Well, I was thinking that, like, I didn't really need to, but... Yeah, I guess I should've. Because now we got Magnus. I was expecting to draw the mother here. Now I don't get to windfall. Oh well. Magnus plus one. We can work with it. We're, we're, we're gonna... I'm gonna top deck a windfall from this. That's the plan. We're hiding our hand, making him spooked. Five nasty cards in hand. And we're gonna top deck the windfall. And just... just <laughs> triple creation the Magnus. <laughs> It's gonna be great. He is on tree. Lovely. Spring mochi. Okay, we, we have to take this hit. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> I am a god. <laughs> How are you hiding your hand when everyone's in chat? I told you it would happen. 
Ah, oh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, now we just... Yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess we use the other one, whatever. And I want a mochi creation, I think. So we're gonna mochi draw. Seven cost storm spawn. Magnus is definitely a lot better. So we go for Magnus. Windfall again. <laughs> Fill a board with Magnus. And he surrenders. <laughs> oh, rough. I, yeah, I mean, triple creation into Magnus is going to be rough. <clears throat> I didn't get to play a single mother that game, though. Sad. A third Magnus. Yeah, why can't my lore page be Magnus? <laughs> These late month climbers are not thrilled about Moon's return. <laughs> I am also a late month climber. Yeah, there's uh, some new, there's a lot of new people I haven't recognized, which is great to see as always. I feel like I'm always saying that. I'm like, there's new people. That's neat to see. I wonder if I have, I don't think I have that, uh, that snazzy card back. I guess it doesn't show you the seasonal ones that if you don't have them, so I can't actually search this up. Sad. Already 100 FWC, so I don't need to ladder anymore. Guaranteed season lookup, yeah. You just have to get top 10 once and you're guaranteed in there. I like to get Badger standings, even though it doesn't matter that much, but um, I mean like if you want to like compete in Seasonal Cup and you get really good FWC, you get buys when you're like in the top, right? Yeah, don't we all wish we could earn more card backs? Just scared to play his moon online? <laughs> It's a learning experience. I mean, I'm playing a deck that uh, I, I I don't understand the inner workings of. S's mind is something I will never understand. I, I'm not... like, the triple phantasm... I, I find awkward to work sometimes, they're really expensive. But I do get it. And you kinda need, like, more stuff for Archon to hit. And you get to Phantasm Yaks and stuff, yeah. I was once number two FWC after quarterly and you played S first round. Yeah, but that's that's what I mean, like, in a regular, like, s competitive format, where people are, like, competing on a regular basis, um, like, seasonal cups will reflect that. But, like, right now, you've got really skilled players who, like, pop in, like, once every... once in a while, get top 10, and then they leave. And so they're at the bottom rankings of the... Uh, of the Seasonal Cup leaderboard. So it, it doesn't really matter. You do super well in a season, and you get ranked with one of the best players still. And doesn't defensive, too. Yeah, you get to use it to, uh, take out some big stuff. Which is nice. But seven Feria to take out big stuff can hurt as well. Phantasm is Frogify plus... plus three three and you get a five five. Yeah. So like if you, if you take it value wise, you're getting um... like... 5 cost for a 5-5 five five is okay, 
and then you get an additional effect, which is nice. So you're spending two Faria to boost their stats by 3-3. Three, three. Well, or, you know, reduce them down to a certain amount of stats. I guess you could consider it like a humbling vision against something massive. So it's all right there. So any other yak ideas? <clears throat> I think this is just honestly the best like sort of uh, sort of sort of idea where you're going mother of yaks and creations. <laughs> like blue yak seems like the best. The other ones are just kind of eh, subpar. I know someone has gotten like crystals. Uh, I mean, Spirit Spice to work before. With Yax. Might be a bit difficult with this particular ladder, I guess, because it's so green heavy right now. Um, can I math this? We've got turn one. Or sorry, we've got like, yeah, five area, eight. Nine, we can plus one into Windfall. Is that worth it? <clears throat> this is a low blue count. Could go blue, red, sevens. But what is, does red have anything to offer though? I don't really think it does. <clears throat> So we're gonna go here, and then we should be able to plus one Archon next turn, or plus one Windfall Archon, or double Windfall Archon. We get the boost already. And we know what JT's playing, he has like no across the board removal. Unless he runs hook. Like one hook. Hook's such an annoying card to just exist in the game. Oh. Why is he putting it here? Does he have hook? Well, I'm gonna drop double Archon anyways. But yeah, I don't think red really adds anything. Like, like the, the purpose of this deck is creation mother a bunch of times and get her discounted. Um... And the deck just, the deck does just that. It builds lots of Faria, and it, it does the other things. Okay, well he doesn't want to invest lands this side, so I think I'm safe to step up here. Uh, and then we play the second Mochi just to get the discounts rolling. It's good. Setting up Sally. Ah, uh, with the, but like, why? <laughs> like, you can just drop this on the same turn as Sally, right? I guess if you want to use double neutrals in any way. Sure, I guess so. Well, I guess this doesn't make sense for Hook anyways, because he wasn't on five lands there. The monkey! <laughs> Amazing. Well, uh, you can take your next buff. I am happy to give it to you. I'll put Magnus here. That's a heavily discounted Magnus. <laughs> My goodness. 
Yeah, I'd already sad for a turn. Because there was no way that I could invest lands, really. I don't know. We're looking really good with this this position right now, though. He is on 14, but I'm pretty happy having two 6-6s six and the Magnus. Perfect top deck here is just Phantasm, I guess. Especially if he steps. But I, I don't think he would step in range. No way. That was a really good monkey though, I, I will say. That was a great time to draw the monkey. Why so serious? Ooh, you're giving me a free combat trigger even. Uh, Alright. Not entirely free. <laughs> But pretty much. Um, so I need my third lake, yes? Oh. He's got taunt. <laughs> I guess that's fine. Just means I have to double trade into it. And he has to ground shaker me. Do I, do I even creation the Magnus? Because here's the thing, I don't even need the Feria right now, I think. Do I just save this for Mother? I think I do. Another Magnus is a bit overkill. And I want to get my lore pitches anyways. <laughs> uh, but then the issue is drawing the Mother, I guess. That's did a good job, yeah. Creation, the Magnus? It, sh it would be... I want the Mother, though. I want Greed. Like, I can always Creation Beiru or something. I'm... I'm gonna Greed for it. I want I want my lore page. Perhaps Hellfire, Garadun, Blood Bargainer. The issue also with adding red is that you're adding another color. Like, you have to add something very significant if you're adding an extra color. Yax! Um, you have to add something very significant because, yeah. Uh, okay, draw. Nice. Nice. Mm. Okay, so we do the yaks. One goes in here, one goes in here with Aurora. I'm gonna need some land space. Um, I, I honestly probably have to collect here, because I'm gonna run out of space. So we go here, we go here, we go here. This guy hits in. Um, we can... Aurora, we can... Whoa. Sunlight, thanks for the sub! I can't believe I get scared by that every single time. <laughs> thanks for the sub, appreciate it. <laughs> Doing this so it starts popping up. <laughs> Four months too, thanks a lot. Um Aurora. I'm afraid of Okay, whatever. Would you like some tea? Got creation. Yeah, that's fine. I I could have creation the Aurora and value traded, but whatever. 
Yeah, that would have been kind of neat, I guess. I was thinking I had five damage lined up here, so it would be pretty cool. Oh no. Played into Horus Master. Sad. Uh... Oh, now he's taunting me. I see how it is. I see how it is. Keep drawing. There's the Baron. I have so much Faria. <laughs> I, I, I definitely need to save these for mothers, I think. So we just take this. Um, the Baron comes to fight the Phantasm. We want it to die off really quick, so I guess I'm just going to put it here. And I don't need to do anything with this. Um... If I step here, he gets a decent salamander, I guess. Yeah, we're not going to win by pushing. I'm just going to stick to my side. Maybe we'll push you over. Go back to your right. <clears throat> the rope? Yes. <laughs> Thanks. I am very bad at that. Definitely. Keep blocking face with 2-2. Two, two. Mm. Investing the buff. Um, oh my god. I hope he doesn't have teleport. I might be creationing... Oh, I don't have... Yeah. Mm. Could creation the phantasm potentially. I don't have Aurora anymore. Alright, keep drawing. Alright. <laughs> I have so much Faria. Uh... So much. I might honestly use these as creatures. <laughs> Um, cause I can't, like, I feel like I want to save this, still, even, even though, um, well, I don't want him to get aggressive lines, that might be problematic. Uh, Phantasm's really bad against Ground Shaker, even though there's a juicy trade, I know, like, there's a juicy trade, but... Phantasm's just really awful in this matchup. And I might need I might need it as a backup like thing later. Okay. Um Yeah, I should be able to hold him off for a bit. Uh he's got a horse master line here potentially. Just do this. I'm gonna double failed one. And I'm gonna play one? Play one as is, because he should be able to die off. And it's not a huge detriment if he doesn't for a while. I've got 11 Faria here. Gives me something to fight with. I didn't need to play the other, like, double failed Storm Spawn, I guess. Okay, well, at least Ground Shaker's behind now. It's not a big deal. He does! Okay, that's a big deal. <laughs> that is a pretty big deal. But we got another Storm Spawn. Um... That I could just block with, potentially. <laughs> or are we just, we probably just phantasm it. Yeah, I need to keep drawing cards. 
There she is. All right, screw the phantasm. We're mothering. Um, for thirteen, yeah, that's fine. I got so much. I got so much feria. And we protect. I don't need to protect. <laughs> Let's put her here. But I'll put the other one like here, just in case. And then we we do this. Could even play it right now. <laughs> Is that worth it just for the tempo play? Potentially. It's a lot of fairy investment, but we block all of his collections here. It's really expensive, but oh well. <laughs> It'll be fine. <clears throat> Don't play into Sally. That's true. But I don't think that plays super hard. Block collection, yeah. It feels worth it even though it's like super expensive for me. That ground shaker is a little sad. Oh, yaks now? Oh, you shouldn't have. I'm just gonna play the windfall. I, I know that there's a strategy to keeping it in hand, but Eh, <laughs> it's really annoying to do. I, I, I don't like math. I say getting a like math degree. Um, we step on the land with one. Keep the taunt. Well played. So we got only two mothers, one more to go. Wait, what? What's happening? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Did you see all those freakouts? I was like rank 6 for a second, then I went to rank 5, then I went to god rank 5. Alright, well, I am now god rank 5. Thanks everybody for coming. <laughs> All right, one more mother. <laughs> Need a tutorial vid for that one? I don't know if I even know how to explain that one. Just gotta be good at, at top decking the ranking. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think here's what I'm gonna do is after we get the mother lore page, I think I'm just gonna See if I can, like, super fast grind? Maybe. I don't know. We're at almost three hours already, so... Eh, maybe not. But I feel like, uh... I feel like flyers could be pretty good on this ladder. Or... Like, monstrosity, even. <clears throat> Just with the amount of green that's going on. Moon tryharding. <laughs> you might if you keep getting streaks. Yeah, maybe. Also, there's actually good to point out, like, oh, wait, no, I can't get, do this anymore. But I was doing a lot of, like, um, beating strong, much stronger opponents, but I, I don't think god rank counts as much stronger anymore now that I'm in this tier. But yeah, what's a what's a deck that would be good on this ladder and is also fast? Like probably flyers, right? I 
I mean, I have time. I don't have I don't have a a huge rush till Monday. Okay, actually, there's a, a mild rush that is like four days away. I do have some work to do over the weekend. Hmm. With Mech Rush, I need to play something I know though. Otherwise, I'm just gonna lose. Just anything that beats green, red, green, yellow buffs. Yeah, I'm thinking flyers for me. Okay, we're going second, we can do that same plus one play, if that's important. He's playing Yaks, right? Um, well, Windfall's not as important here. Let's just toss it. I think I keep the Yak attack though. I need some like quick answers to his Sapphire Yaks. Play any mid range deck fast. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think it should be fine to, to play like flyers or something. Nice and easy. I haven't played in a while, so I'll be able to pick that up pretty easy again. Um, fight this important? Well, not really. We dodge. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna do it like this, even though I'm giving up this side. I think like I really need to contest the axe just because of Sapphire, but yeah, maybe that's dumb. He doesn't really have a good spot for Sapphire Yak right now. He's got to like put it opposite side anyways. Yeah, I should have just went this side. That was dumb. <laughs> Stay here, threaten the yak. Have to go in a minute. Thanks and good luck on getting to Godric. Thanks. I don't know if I will. We'll we'll see how it goes. I might like because it's been a long stream already, but thanks for stopping by, Sunlight. Thanks for the sub. Hope you have a good night or wherever you are. And thanks for stopping by. I'll definitely be around. Um, probably stream next week. Just have some assignments due this weekend, and that's about it. Actually, have plenty of time to get to God rank. It's like the reset is this Monday, which is plenty of time, but like I have work to do, so I don't know. I mean, like it's pretty easy to invest like a couple, like an evening here or there. So yeah, I mean, not feeling super pressured, but. Ah, uh, not too far in Montana. Ah, oh, nice. I'm not actually sure where that's located in terms of time zone. Look for your stream. Alright, take care. Take care. Uh, oh, we get to buff. That was a really nice top deck. We will get to buff. Uh, I guess we're going for Yak Attack. We'll take the collection here. Collection there, and then dump them here. Also, have the Baron to play. I might as well, I guess, contest something that he drops there potentially. I don't know. So then we can. 
Yeah, whatever. Something like that. Maybe that's just dumb. I don't really need the Baron. Has a value trait? Buff? I don't think so. Double storm spawn. I guess we draw. 15 cost mother. Lovely. All oh, right, I guess I want the yaks to die. I should have swapped these. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, we'll send this yak this way then. Kind of. Oh, I should have stepped you back. I just played into Shepherd. Sapphire? It's gonna be mighty tough to deal with. Seven life, a little awkward. Just a little. I might try and contest it with the Archon. <laughs> like if I just put it here, because this is a lost cause, I can't deal with that anyways. Uh... Like playing in range of this, it feels not that bad. I'm not going to be able to actually deal with it, he can just boxes creatures in, I guess. Hmm. I guess we hit this in and see what we draw. What are we drawing? A fine strategy. I can see. A free windfall. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it here to pressure. Um, I could use my storm spawn <laughs> as the body again. Doesn't feel that bad. I mean, we get to match the numbers. It's essentially f uh, free 3 damage. Oh, he's got a buff. He's got a double buff. He's got a buff and a shepherd. No, he would have shepherded this. Warjak. Maybe I just go face. <laughs> He's got a lot of swarm. Maybe I just go face, even drop the mother. If Fickle wins, is multicolored Yax better? <laughs> Potentially. Um, I think I'm just gonna go face, all in face. Maybe. 
Seems like a lost cause to deal with all this. And I want my storm spawn to kind of die off now, I guess. Um... Do I, have an, do I even have enough for like Mother plus Aurora? Not really. We have two Yaks die, that's 13. Oh yeah, I guess I do. 13, okay. Um, okay. We hit both of these guys in. Get the Mother for 13. So how's this gonna work? One's hitting face for sure. I want to Aurora this, but then do I have space? Yeah, I guess. Would you like some tea? Just put the mother here. Um Right here. Don't want to put it in range of the Rubiac. Clearing Spirit is okay. I think this works too. Like, it sets up a lot of pressure. Oh, he does have- he does run Famine in this list. Which is actually building up to be pretty spooky. That's what, two, four, six, eight? Is that what, how Famine works? He might use it here just to clear the Aurora. Um, but yeah, Famine's a little spooky. Although, like, if he doesn't block here, I guess we have lethal anyways. Yeah, there's the Famine. Should be eight damage to face, I guess. Two, four, six, eight. Quite a bit. Just a better tempo line? Yeah. I think I'm dead. <laughs> Actually. Well, not necessarily, I just gotta keep my creatures away. And hope he doesn't have anything. Goddamn. If I hadn't played that storm spawn, I think I would have had something here. Anyway, I salvage this. No way I deal damage to myself, right? Hmm. We collect. One. No, a yak attack wouldn't help here anyways. One, two, three, six. All right, well, I guess he either has it or he doesn't. So we'll see. <laughs> What do I need to play around? <clears throat> Should be pretty likely he has it. Pretty likely. He's drawing for it. Does he have it? Oh, he's got it. Well played. Yeah. The Famine Yaks. God. We got the mother. Alright, let's take a look. Oh. What do we have to say about the mother of all yaks? Legend tells of a creature created by Gaia 
to peacefully populate the grasslands and provide wool, milk, and companionship to any creature that had need for it. Now that her children are in danger, the mother has returned, bringing with her an army of yaks that were bred for war. These were bred for war? <laughs> yeah, you're trying. <laughs> Alright. So. I'm not going to stream for too much longer, so we're not going to get to God, I think, today. But uh, I'll play just a touch of flyers, I think. Nice and standard. I should have a flyers list. There we go. The flyers. Actually like your list? Uh, well, the, the blue one's asses list, if that's what you mean. It's, it's pretty good. I think S did a good job designing it, and it's really neat to see uh, Mother of Yaks doing stuff. Oh, I also said I was going to open a bunch of chests. We could do that too. Um, yeah, let's, let's see what we get from the chests. I can buy a one. No, I had a good list too. Yeah, I liked his list. It was pretty, um... It was pretty nice. Alright, we had 37 chests. <laughs> Hey Fickle, well play- oh my god, we got three lore pages, look at that. Okay. Pretty great. It, it means I don't get to play these on stream? That's okay. Got Primal Colossus. That's a lot of lore pages, I, was, I wasn't expecting to get three. All in one- oh my god. Are these like, designed to give you more lore pages? I think I'm gonna get them all. Thanks for the game. It was very close. That, um, that famine was clutch. I think we're gonna get the, all the lore pages today. It's kind of sad at the same time. I actually have plans to do some more, like, playing with one card things in the, in the future. Um, sort of my plan for moving forward into the new year is, uh, playing decks with a single card again, but I'm going to make it more of a YouTube format and more, like, formal? <laughs> or, like, at least more, uh, guide-like. So I actually have some content to put out on YouTube. Um, it's been really fun doing these, like, playing with only one card on stream, but, uh, I do kind of want to get back into more competitive decks. Uh, because the meta's, like, changed quite a bit, to be honest, with, like, Tosser and Husk being nerfed. Um, so, I really want to do a lot of testing and playing around with different decks in this current meta, competitively. Yeah, I'm getting so many lore pages off these. I think we're gonna... be good. I did have, what, like, I had 17 to go? I think I've unlocked, like, 8-ish? There's the Wingate. Liked watching you experiment with the lore page cards? It's gonna continue. Don't you worry. I, I really enjoyed it too. I think the lore pages were a really neat idea for for prizes. Um, like, post-game, sort of. Is this how you got most of your lore pages, now you regret it? Yeah, it's really, it's a really unique thing. I think I'm ready to just collect them all now though um just because of the holidays i really want to create like a lore page reading stream 
Or, I don't know. Should I make a video or should I make a stream out of it? I don't know if that, uh... That's a lot of lore pages. I don't know if that would be an interesting stream or not. Do you guys think I'm gonna get a full collection? Full method collection out of this? I... I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think I still have quite a few uh, method cards to collect. But it's gonna come close. Also hope the lore pages... weren't given out from chess? This kind of ruins it, you think? They're nice, they're nice little rewards, but I mean like, there comes a time where you collect everything in Faria, right? You just can't avoid that. There's always a peak to everything. The only way now is to start methodically from left to right and work on them all again. So what I plan for a future series is kind of to... Um, like, take a singular card and, like, talk about it and, like, discuss, like, the uses for the card, what it, what I sort of, maybe give, like, a tier rating, even though I've already done tier lists, I, I give, like, where it stands in the meta and, like, talk about just, like, uses for the card, because there's some really unique cards that uh, a lot of new players especially don't maybe see potential in right away, or, or maybe they see too much potential in when there isn't any. And so I think that would make a really neat series, and it's also a really easy series for me to make while I'm in my last semester of school, because I can just, uh... Um... Like, I just talk about a singular card, and that's the video. And it's gonna be more of a YouTube format, so it's gonna be off-stream, but... I think that's gonna be... I think that's gonna make a pretty unique series, at least. Um, I think I still have lore pages to go, though. I don't think I've gotten them all. We'll take a look after. See what's missing. Because <laughs> I'm not getting any, any anymore, but I didn't think that was 17. Perhaps it was. We got three chests. I'm also storing up the, the blue chests, the battle chests, because you get those for rewards for like at the end of each month or something. I want to see how many I can store up. <laughs> Last chest! Alright. Um, I should have kept track maybe of the lore pages and we can like Look at them all, but... Okay, let's see if there's any missing. I didn't think that was all of them, but it might be. That might be it. That might be the end of these streams. Very sad times. But also happy times. Um... It looks like it. That looks like it. I think that's gonna be the end. Yep. That's... that's definitely it. Oof. End of these dreams. You gave us a dream with a yak poem and then took it away with a different dream with the lore pages. <laughs> Are we happy or sad about this? <laughs> uh, it's... it's good times. We are sad. I have tears and I'm not sure. <laughs> oh dear. It's heart crushing. But now we get to read them all. Let's do a big old reading stream. Fairy is now dead. Everything is explored. Oh no. 
I've single-handedly ruined the fairy experience. <laughs> It's okay. You know, things come to an end. We have to let them go. We have to let them come and go. And move on to our next endeavors. Life can never stay stagnant. Otherwise it's just it's just meaningless. We do the same thing the rest of our life. What's the purpose to that? Moon has old Stuart again. <laughs> There are always dragon lairs. I haven't even gotten. I haven't even beat all the dragons. <laughs> do it all again on the alts. Speed run. We'll do a. Sp well, you can't really speed run lore pages. <laughs> It'll be the slowest speed run ever. How many cards are there in Feria? Like. Like, in the th 300s? I'm sure Isaac doesn't have everything. I'm pretty sure it probably has nothing. Like, not a single lore page. What's Fickle? I like your idea, but trying to get as competitive as possible. Yeah, I really want to, um... Like, so, a, a big reason that I started, um, um, do I keep this? Yeah, it's not awful going first. A big reason that I started doing, like, guide videos and stuff is, like, like one, I really love this game and I want to help people. Um, but I also want, like, people to get more competitive because I love the competitive scene of, of this game and there's just no resources out there to get better. Like you play again, you play on ladder and you just kind of play and you don't know if you're getting worse or better and I think it's... Um, how do I fight this? Am I going sides? I guess. Um... Yeah, I, I just, I, I really want people to get more competitive in this game, and uh, if I can do anything to help that, I will. I really want to make like a more advanced series, but I just don't have the time right now, or energy, so that's why I'm starting this sort of new series, where I can kind of talk about things, and I think it'll be alright. Wait, green-blue? Has he, has he switched? With decks and cards, I saw some older player in past tournaments. There's like 60 plus people, like on their battle fight accounts. Yeah, were you around? Um, back then? Um, cause that, that was, that was such an ex a unique experience back then when Feria was in its prime. It's, it's really sad that we can't be there anymore. Wasn't around, played offline and co-op, but never in its heyday. Ah, uh, yeah, that's super sad. I, I, I wish that I had played a little more, because I only ever... I mean, I, I played quite a bit, I guess, but like I, I got into the competitive scene a bit late, I think. Like, I didn't go to many tournaments. I mean, it was an awkward time for me, but... Um, I think I went into like one tournament or something, and I faced against S, <laughs> and I almost beat him. I was very close, but sadly, it didn't work out. 
I remember like the broadcasters commentating on my on my plays. They, they didn't. They had no idea who I was, of course. And um, I think there was a play where like I, I had an option to play Garadin back when Garadin was viable. Um. And I didn't play the Garadin, I decided to go for some other play, and then I just was never able to get the value out of Garadin. Do the good play, Summer says. What's the good play? I think it's this. We hit in. We step over. We do the desert. Float fly. <laughs> well earned Elo. Yeah, Flyers is Flyers is huge. I think Flyers is the deck. I'm surprised so many, so much green is going on in ladder. I guess like, no one plays flyers on ladder. It seems. Green is the popular one, always. Um. He has bamboozled me. Hmm. Well, I guess we go to collect, block the collection. Uh, yeah, it's... It's sad. <laughs> it's been f f foiling... Yellow Flyer's been foiling you a lot? Well, it is the best deck in the game right now. Oh, failing! Really? Interesting. It's such a good deck. <laughs> Summer is upset. <laughs> Maybe you have failed yellow flyers. Oh. Some shots fired. Um, we just dropped Kaleem here, right? Charge, keep double collecting, drop Kaleem. Or do we go for champion? We can do champion as well. I guess I can do champion as well, we just go here. We move here, then we champion. Go to the center, I think. Go here, Kaleem. He had a champion line last turn. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's... It, it probably had something that I could collect. Summer is always good at catching those, like, collect off every single well in a single turn out of nowhere lines. Should I be running Sky Captains with Tosser Nerf? Sky Captains a jolly no good high roll card. <laughs> I don't personally like them. I think they do a lot better now without the without tossers, yeah, but yeah, I'm not a huge fan of them. Um Bodder Bodder. 
Whoa, sir. I guess we go for enchant. Wait, I could have done double barter, I just realized, into mega creature. Oh well. It is amazing. Uh, do I have full clear? I think full clear. Maybe. Hey. I guess I could have hid for more there, but... <clears throat> and the famine! Oh. <laughs> Ah, it is a much stronger opponent. I thought that wasn't a thing. When you when you reach rank five. Really interesting. Oh no. <laughs> I was just about to check to see what Summer was up to. He's uh he's here. <laughs> for a good show with Summer. Good deck. As well. No memes. Thanks for the game, Fickle. I am now on to flyers. We'll see how this goes. You not ready for this deck? Oh no. <laughs> What do we got? Monstrosity or flyers? For winning? <laughs> I think he means like tournaments or or ladder, Pandora. Oh god. <laughs> I think Bam's just having a stroke. <laughs> Should we send help? <laughs> uh, 
Okay, I expected something like this. He's thought about this a lot. Is he gonna get like quad collect and full clear? <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> what a play. Okay, well double double Manta Rider in hand certainly helps. Geometry is hard. <laughs> So he definitely, definitely didn't have Wind Soldier, I think. He would have played the Wind Soldier there. Um, we could push the Manta Rider up quicker. I don't know if he's running like the, the Fire Boys, the Copters. This would be a bad spot if he's playing Copter. Uh, so where else would we put the Manta? So I'm a little, a little afraid of Copter. Maybe I'm not playing Manta Rider here. Just do that. Just cause Copter spooky. Generally always recommend Monstrosity. Lowest variance have played right and best matchup spread. Yeah, Monstrosity is really tough to master. There's so many different things to think about. Um, definitely gotta play more of it. Yeah, Zorni going 3-0. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I consistently see it do super well. Ah, uh, it's a merchant. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Find yellow in general. Yeah, I think yellow is definitely the the hardest color out of all four of them to to learn because there's a lot of because they have so much mobility. You have to. You just have so much more to consider with. Um, with different lines. And you also have so many options on each turn on like which, which things to clear because of your mobility. Yeah. Okay, we got a freedom fighter. Um, so I saved the soul drain here for that. Am I using my Freedom Fighter here? No. Flash Wind... I think we're Soul Draining. Just dropping Manta Rider. We have Demon Wing. Like, there's an option to collect with the Freedom Fighter. But I don't think it's worth it right now. We soul drain this. I think I clear this. Oh, we can plus one play two things, right? Yeah, I'm gonna plus one play two things, I guess. Um, I mean... Oblivion Rider's kind of neat, but it's kind of bad. Uh... We do Demon Wing for sure, 100%. And then I might go for the, uh, the the Rider. I mean, he's got nothing on board. He needs Flame Burst to deal with it, right? And we can use this plus the Flash Wind to maneuver away here? Maybe. Ah, it's gonna be awkward. I need triple lands build for that. Huh.
But we spook him, maybe? Maybe he thinks we have air alley? What's hard about yellow is learning to identify windows and when to push go for board. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, that was bound to happen at some point. So we can clear this. I think it's worth it. Maybe. We have to step on the mountain, build a desert. Flash window over. I think that's worth it. Then we get our we get our land can built. We get to drop another demon wing. <clears throat> Is there a better line where I get like meant to ride out? Um. I don't particularly see one. I think I want to clear the Mistral Guide. And then question is where to put the Demon Wing, and I, I think it goes here. We can put, like, Manta Rider aggressive. Should be fine. Maybe I should have... Yeah, it's fine. Uh, like, he probably... Copters? Beast Trainer. Ah, he's doing this. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay. I love this this uh, emote in the Discord server, the Sally face. <laughs> Um, ah, it's barterless. I mean, barterproof. I see. Wait, so he's, is he running husk? If he's, hmm. So I kind of want to draw here. Should be fine to draw, even if he's running hot. No, 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 he's running merchant. We plus one, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, what else are we gonna do? I'll put Manta Rider back. So we got two dead draws in the deck. Sad times. A Tyrion Golem. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a draw now. That's the Spirit Theft. Five two is a little sad. Trading into the little two two, um, but we get to follow it up with a freedom fighter, I guess. And we just need to find five damage. Uh, we'll figure out something. Grinder. Yikes. We could also steal this, but that's really expensive. Um, and doesn't really accomplish much. 
If spirit theft just doesn't go anywhere. Draw. Champion. Oh, the Celestial Tarot's gotta go somewhere awkward. I might even put it here. <laughs> Is this crazy? I need space. Oh, where am I putting Champion? Oh, I can't play Champion, what am I saying? Oh, I made mistakes. Mistakes were made. <laughs> I thought I could play the champion. Another merchant. Yeah, that was pretty nice for the freedom line, but I mean, maybe it'll work out. I mean, we still need this desert potentially yeah, for the future, so maybe it'll work out. We are currently not using this celestial tower on anything useful. Bloatfly is very good. Um. Well, it's okay. Wait, what? Ah, oh, we can get the uh, the treasure map now. <laughs> Got nowhere I can put like dual creatures. Oh, I can champion <laughs> myself. And then blowed fly. to get two creatures out on the board. <laughs> Sometimes you get beast from merchant and you're running beast trainer. interesting. It hasn't happened yet. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's a blood obelisk. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. I mean, we got an answer, at least. That was just rude. <laughs> this is gonna be a pretty nice swing. Well, it's okay.
Spirit Theft. We bop here. Uh, I probably want to play the Glide. Oh. Um. I guess we do just go Iona Soldiering. And Iona come here? Maybe. <clears throat> well, I mean, that Celestial. I think that Celestial Terror was good placement now. <laughs> I'm happy with it. It hasn't. Why, why, why hasn't he actually attacked it? Does he just think it's part of his 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 structure? Because it's on his side? It's just kind of blending in? You get to give up left side earlier and try to set up a clock yourself? Being on no events makes it relatively safe call. That that's a that's a fair analysis. Yeah. Yeah, with no events, he's got a lot of creatures, it's gonna be hard to keep up with. Yeah. Do I get to take this mountain? Oh. Wait, what? This play was interesting. So I think we can, we take up the three three I guess at this point. Play guy. I might want to draw here. I don't think he's running husk. I'm pretty confident on that. So we take this out I guess. <clears throat> Six fairy. Uh, I want to play the blood fly. Like it's a bit better than all of this stuff. Maybe glide hopper. Hmm. This is actually kind of hurting me. I see why he hasn't killed it. <laughs> he can kill it at any time he wants. Light hopper or blood fly. Can we go for glide hopper? It's a little more resilient. We'll see. I think. Yeah. Eel on Hopper? Does he run Eel? Maybe. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Slumber Flame's a believer in the Eel. And... Like, he's running Beast Trainer, he's running... There, there could be room for it. It's, it's, it's all creature-based, right? Hmm... Would be mighty spooky to find an eel. Also, he's built a lot of lands. Oh, we needed to play Tyrion Golem, right? Next, Mistral. Oh, yeah, I saw that coming. But I mean, Bloodfly would have been worse. I should be using this up, I think. <laughs> it's kind of a detriment to me. Like, on 2 life, I can't just sack it. God. We can go Air Ellie Bloat Fly. I might just go for that. 
So we need to Bloodfly wants to go here, I suppose. So... Yeah, we'll do this. He's played one mobility trick, there might be another one coming, but... We'll see. Is that number three? I think that's number three. Uh, he played one at the beginning. Oh, maybe that's number two. Oh no, he found a better blocker. Should I just surround my face with Iona's? He has no events. What can he do? That would be kind of funny. <laughs> Flash wind. Do I just use flash wind to kill this? We have a tower though. It's gonna be this is gonna be tough. Another option is I like, go face <laughs> with the iota. That's not happening. I gotta play Iona. I don't know, if I don't do that he gets to like collect and kill. Maybe maybe it didn't matter. I could just... I don't know. Oh no, my event target! Pretty neat with that, I guess I can like predict when he draws his, his treasure map. Not that that actually makes any difference at all. Oh, he's moving up? Does he have another one? Beastie. Somehow I don't think this is going many places. We will play the rider. <laughs> I guess. Tossing it in. Alright, well, not gonna get very far, it looks like, today. So, we'll do one more. I've only done like two games, right? 
We'll do one more. This will be the last one. Um... If I want to get to God, I'll have to do some. Yeah, I might do some playing offline. I'm not sure. Or I'll uh, see how time goes. Could do another stream Sunday. Maybe. I gotta see how time goes. No promises. <laughs> Red, yellow beasts. <laughs> Red, yellow beasts. What beasts do we have access to? It's just, um... <laughs> yeah, the bursting hippo. Not gonna happen. Um... <laughs> Red, yellow beasts. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. There's no yellow beasts. Summer has finally lost it. <laughs> Flying beast trainers and salamanders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a... Uh, it's an interesting idea. <laughs> what are the neutral ones? There's llama? That's about it. You have the monkeys, but they're... Kind of awful. <laughs> I could see llamas. They'll do fine. Okay, we can. Red, yellow? Oh, double neutral. Welcome to Red, Yellow, Beast, Metal, Lizard. <laughs> You're forgetting Vermin and Vulture. <laughs> ah, yes. The best cards. Man, this is always the case. Play a deck, and then you queue into the counters. Now I'm against all red things. <laughs> um, I guess this is why we don't see flyers on ladder, now that I think about it, because burn is, like, super popular. It does okay against burn, but... I guess that's why people don't play it, usually. Um... Do I want to try and contest this? Maybe? Ah. We'll go off in our corner for now. <laughs> I thought this whole time it was a private show. <laughs> Summer Flame's new deck leaked. The two most important beasts, exactly. <laughs> it's 
it gonna be like Ogre Battler? <laughs> Cyber. There can be only one. What? That don't buff him. I think you make a mistake. Should we go for barter? I mean, we're just gonna soul train this. We don't need to barter. Uh, let's see what he has. Yeah, I mean, standard stuff. Okay. <laughs> All right. How did you know the whole world? Yes, the whole world. Ooh, I'm getting like some power surges. I better end stream. <laughs> it, we've gotten a ton of rain recently. Um, but good, I had a successful stream without crashing. <laughs> all been seeing your little kicks. Needed to spice up your latter life. That's fair, don't we all? It, it, by the way, Summer, we just finished all the lore pages. It's a sad time. No more, like, individual card streams. I'm going, like, super hardcore competitive now. <laughs> okay, let me see if anyone's streaming before we go. No go. Well, Saturn's streaming. He's streaming Shadowverse, but... I mean, we can, we can go say hi to Saturn, unless anyone in chat wants to stream. Raid Saturn. That's right, keep Summer distracted. No more story time. We're gonna have a big story time, and I don't know. I don't know if it would be better to do like uh, this as a Twitch stream, like we do a cozy Twitch stream. To read them all or just like a YouTube video where I can like cut edits because there's a lot there's a lot of stuff I don't need to like parse my throat <laughs> through all of these quite a bit of text and I don't know I don't know if I, I guess I'm just gonna read them like front to back it would be nice if I could like figure out what comes first to the story or something but yeah I'll probably just read them front to back um, so I haven't decided if I'm gonna do a twitch stream or a YouTube video We'll, we'll see how it goes. There's a lot here. <laughs> it's a lot to read. <laughs> Stay focused, Fickle, exactly. Alright guys, I'm gonna tap out. Um, but we're gonna go and raid Saturn V. Say hello. In three seconds, we'll see what he's up to. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll be back. I'm not going away this time, I hope. Unless my house burns down. Um, see ya.